Hello, my name is Skip, and this is from the fourth row's review of Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows. Now, let me tell you, the action is fast and furious in uh, the latest installment of uh, Guy Ritchie's Sherlock Holmes franchise, and uh, it gets going right away, right off the bat. Um, you know, Robert Downey Jr., you know, I guess it's interesting to see his acting chops in full um, swing in these Sherlock Holmes movies, you know, because Tony Stark, he's different, and obviously he's played um, Chaplin, and it just, it's like, feels like it's natural to him to have this British accent, and, and, and in this world of um, late 1800s uh, London, and Europe uh, and of course you know we have Dr. Watson played by Drew Law and you know the main story story arc I guess revolves around his marriage but as we saw in the first Sherlock Holmes movie we were gonna get the main villain and um, in this this uh, storyline and that's Professor Moriarty and he is nothing but sinister and he does it it's just so um, so just subtle the way he is evil you know and and and, and, um, and the, this movie has a lot to do with a um, I guess you'd say a fortune teller, a gypsy fortune teller played by uh, Naomi Rapace and we all know her best from uh, playing Lisbeth Salander in the Swedish version of the Girl with the Tr Dragon Tattoo trilogy and she is really good in this as well and it has to do with her brother and what her brother has to do with Moriarty is the is a big mystery in this but we get in we get um, a side plot where we have some assassinations involving political uh, people from different countries and some manufacturing of some weapons and um, but I mean I think what's what really makes this movie um, great is there is a sequence towards the end of the movie where we're trying to find out a uh, an assassin who this assassin is going to be and while this is going on Moriarty and Holmes have a game of chess and each move on the chessboard coincides with Watson and um, the gypsy uh, woman played by Rapace looking through all the people and figure eliminating who different people who they think the assassin could be and I just I think this the the slow motion you know we had some slow motion stuff in the original uh, Sherlock Holmes but I really love the use of the slow-mo uh, camera and showing us the little intricacies and details behind the battles and some of the things that have gone on with, with Holmes and Moriarty and so forth and it really does a great job in this um, end sequence about um, but uh, I just I think this is a very well done um, sequel to um, Sherlock Holmes and I think a lot of people should go see this movie. I think the action alone will keep you riveted to your seat, let alone the the mystery of what's going on and how Sherlock Holmes and Moriarty go tete a tete uh, with each other. And this is Skip, and this is my review of Sherlock Holmes and A Game of Shadows. And it's a big see it.